And now it's time for another check on our first warning weather because it's going to be a nice, hot and sunny day today. Not a lot of rain though. You were very optimistic when you said nice, hot and sunny. I mean, a lot of people, oh, hot, hot, but you were optimistic. Good for you. Yeah, I mean, we want it to be nice and warm and sunny. Yeah, we live in the south. We know it's going to be warm in the mm -hmm. afternoon in June, for goodness sake. We're going to be in the low to mid 90s for the high today, but we're starting a little bit cooler on the North Shore. 72 in Bogalusa, 72 right now in Hammond. We have dry air at the upper levels of the atmosphere. Some of that dry air working its way down toward the surface. 73 in Galliano, warmer 75 in Baton Rouge. We'll end up in the low to mid 90s today and tomorrow. Current conditions right now at Lewis Armstrong International Airport. 82 degrees, our temperature with a dew point of 72. And the winds are calm. Those winds, they're going to be a factor for us today. We had breezy conditions for much of last week. We even had that coastal flood advisory because of those strong easterly winds. Well, with the winds being lighter today, it's probably going to feel a little bit hotter in the afternoon. Here's the weather graphic of the day. The water vapor imagery showing us all this dry air at the upper levels of the atmosphere. That'll stay in place for at least the next couple of days. But then we're going to be watching what's going on out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Tropic watch for you, if you will. In the open waters of the Atlantic, one, two, three tropical waves. Hurricane Center watching, not expecting any development from any of them. We had an area of low pressure close to Jacksonville. Hurricane Center was watching that, but right now I think it's just too close to land, so no development expected there. Bay of Campeche and the Gulf of Mexico, this is the area of cloudiness that we're watching. Just got an update from the National Hurricane Center about 15 minutes ago. Essentially very little has changed. Still about a 50% chance for development with this area of cloudiness in the next couple of days, beginning of next week. I really think that this is going to kind of drift to the west-northwest and kind of do what Alberto did. Just stay away from us and bring rain to Mexico. High temperature today in the mid-90s, according to our computer models, low to mid-90s. 93 in Hammond, 94 in Baton Rouge. And you'll notice the rain just not showing up today. Chance for rain is going to stay low through Sunday too. First thing in the morning, we'll be in the low 70s Sunday on the North Shore, but the warm up again is going to be very quick. We may be a degree or two warmer tomorrow. Now the computer model is going with 96 in Kenner and 95 in Hammond. A couple of showers may pop up tomorrow, but the chance for rain only at 10%. Here's the European computer model showing you that area of low pressure, broad area of low pressure. But look where all the rain is to the south of us. I think the European model may have a decent handle on what's going on here. It doesn't look like that's going to be anything that impacts our weather. Mostly sunny, hot with a stray shower in the forecast today, but the chance for rain is less than 10%. So mainly dry and obviously plenty of sunshine in the morning and afternoon. Mostly clear, warmer, little muggy for you first thing tomorrow. And tomorrow afternoon, we'll bump that chance for rain up to ooh, 10%. So still mainly dry, 90% of us staying dry with a high temperature in the mid 90s. Afternoon showers getting a touch more numerous by Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday still only a 20% chance for rain, but then a bit wetter and a bit cooler by Thursday and Friday. That's your WDSU first warning for